Hey guys, Laura Lawson here with Eatology. I'm very excited because this is the very last in our series on how to get started, how to get prepared with Eatology. So if you guys have been following along, this is the very last one. If not, uh, make sure that you go to eatology.co and find uh, our approach on the tabs and click that and that will take you to the entire series on how to get started with Eatology, uh, how to get started on Paleo Zone with or without Eatology. And it'll give you a good uh, baseline to understand what the uh, principles to living paleo zone and living clean are. Um, so make sure to check those out. Today, we are going to take a look at food logging. So really meal tracking. Uh, one of the most important things that we can do for ourselves, especially when we're trying to make sure that we get results, is to know exactly what it is that we put into our bodies. If we know what we put into our bodies, then we know exactly what type of result we can expect to get out of it. And if for any reason we are not getting those results, um, we know we have a baseline on how to dial in and change up our nutrition in order to get that. Um, so last series, or the last uh, video that we did, we looked at a mill builder template, and we took a look at how to make sure that our foods were all zoned, so a two-block and three-block meal tracker. Uh, today, we are basically multiplying those food trackers into something that looks like this. All right, so if you guys notice, this is the exact same template uh, minus these that y'all that we took a look at last week. I will put this resource in uh, in the bottom of the video too, so that you guys can use that here. But the point of this tracker is to track an entire day of food. So this will get get us the best results because it's not just one meal, it's not just two meals. It's an entire day of food. So it is front and it is back. So typically we recommend uh, eating four to six times a day. So there's plenty of room uh, for your meals. Now we do have a two block and a three block version. Uh, the three block version will have one more set in it to where your protein is here, your carb is here, and your fat is here. Now if you notice on just this one tracker, that is a block right there. And then we have two blocks when you add them together. Uh, then three for the three block. So... Uh, I went ahead and filled this out. I put my name on the top of it, which is very important uh, because there will be an opportunity for you to send these in to us, uh, to the team here, and we will take a look at your nutrition if y'all are having, you know, sticky points, getting results, or, you know, maybe you're really hungry in between meals. Well, if we have a food log, we can identify why, but making sure that you fill it out correctly and in a format that my team can recognize is crucial, as you can imagine. So name is awesome. Uh, date, I'd make sure that you date it, and really, we are going to be able to tell the most if we can get three days in a row. So if you can keep a food log or a food tracker for three days in a row, you should be pretty golden. Uh, then I went ahead and put my meal number, and I put uh, what what uh, what time it is. I can't point in here. Wait, that's weird. Uh, I put how much water I had, how much, what time it was, and then um, how I measured, and we'll get to that a little bit later. But basically, you're going to refer to your CrossFit Journal 21, which I will also link at the bottom of these uh, footnotes. But we have our protein and our carb and our fat, and our goal is to select one protein. So if I wanted maybe some chicken, I have one ounce of chicken, and that's what I will put in my protein for the milk builder right there, um, and then so on. And if you watched the last video on how to meal build, then this should be explained a little bit more thoroughly as well. Uh, if you're eating any Eatology meal, you do not need to break that meal down. For example, right here, I knew I was going to eat a two block, or I had a two block Eatology meal, and then that is what I put. I just put two block Eatology, I put what it was I ate, and that's golden. Uh, and then I put another example meal down here, so I have three meals three hours apart, ideally three hours apart. Uh, with that, one of the ways that you guys can send that into us for a little bit of feedback and a little bit of direction is to send that to operations at eatology.co. Uh, so right here, operations at eatology.co. And then my team will take a look at it and we will get back to you. So just email that in and uh, we'll take a gander. Uh, also, another really important thing that I probably should have mentioned Make sure that you are accurately weighing and measuring. You know, when you say one ounce of chicken, I mean, we need to know. We need to be able to trust 
that it is going to be one ounce of chicken, that you took a scale and you measured it. You know, if it's going to be, uh, you know, for instance, uh, one and one fourth cup broccoli, you took a scale and you measured that. Uh, that's going to be really important to knowing how much food that you're eating so that we can dial in those results. Um, I think that that is about it. Uh, also, if you guys want to go to uh, eatology.co and hit that Our Approach button, there is an accountability support group that we are slowly building our way towards. If you will sign up there, uh, we'll give you some additional help, some additional resources, and a little bit more attention. And that's where uh, the food logging and the meal tracking will really come in handy. So check that out. Uh, let me know what you guys think. And we'll be in touch throughout the week. And rock and roll.